Hello, it's Shante from Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. Okay, so listen, why don't I say grow up, glow up to show up, wait a minute, show up to glow up to, anyway, what was my tagline? It was like so long ago. Um, show up to glow up to show out. Show up to sh glow up to show out. You see what I'm saying? And really what I meant was just like enhance yourself. Like don't just, what, what was it? Show up to glow up to, I mean, no, glow up, show up to glow up to show out. And so when I, I was explaining it to somebody and she was like, I'm not like that. And I was like, but you are. Like you got a college education, you know what I'm saying? You come from a good family, all this different stuff. So it's like, when I was saying it, I wasn't saying it to be like, you know, be a bitch about it. But I was just saying it to like, show who you are. You know, you are just everything. And that's it. That's the glow up. Like people think the glow up is like getting a bag and doing all this different stuff. And it's really not. It's not at all. The, the glow up is just the whole transformation of yourself. Like it's just like the growing of yourself. And the more that you care about other people, the better it is. Okay, so I have been making this cinnamon lemonade. It is so fucking good. I don't understand. So this is a 25 ounce bottle. And what I put in here was a cinnamon stick, a fresh squeezed lemon, a cup of sugar, a splash of almond. You can use vanilla, a splash of vanilla. And... Um, something else. I think that's it. It's that would get a cup of sugar. I always forget the recipe, but anyway, the, res the recipe will be below. And let me see. I'm open my notebook. So yeah, one cinnamon sticks, three cups of water, one cup of sugar, a fresh uh lemon, and one splash of or va uh, vanilla or almond syrup. I use extract. But you can use syrup too, like the little syrups you get, like the Tyrone or whatever. Um, and you can get them on Amazon with EBT. So, this is so good. And the cinnamon is actually good for you because it's, it's an anti-inflammatory and it also helps with diabetes too, in some kind of way. Um, and if you look it up, it's two different types of um, cinnamon, but I use the sticks. So again, it's, it's the, anti, the cinnamon is an anti-inflammatory. And it also helps with diabetes. Okay. So this right here is good. And I would say once you make it. Let it sit in the refrigerator for like. Four or five hours before you drink it. Because then it will get that cinnamon taste. And. It is just a refreshing little drink. So anyway today. I didn't want to. You know like sometimes I don't want to mess up my man crush Monday. Um, So today I'm going to do like 56 daily habits for happiness. And. The reason why is because we have something here in our house that we love, that we just fell in love with, and I think Blake is going to want to do the show on it tomorrow. Okay, so with your body, have a dance party. Have a dance party. Make sure you get a good-ass playlist. Put that motherfucker in YouTube. Get everybody's input, not just your fucking own, and then make that shit and do a fucking dance party. You know what I'm saying? If you have kids that don't want to get along, it's a good way to bring everybody together. It's a good way to see all the shit they can do. All that shit. It's just dope. Um, stress relieving yoga pose. My favorite pose is the pigeon pose. For whatever fucking reason. And then it's also the reverse pigeon pose. Which somebody else calls it the swan pose. Or it's the reverse swan pose. Those two poses are the shit to me. I don't give my two fucks. It's just like... And all, you see what I'm saying? It's just like that's some dope shit to do. Close your eyes and take uh, deep breaths, three deep breaths. If you have a, um, if you have a Apple Watch, you know that that is what happens. So, um, if you have an Apple Watch, then I gotta put my playlist on Apple too. Playlist. Okay, so if you have an Apple Watch, then make sure, like, you know, it already tells you to take those deep breaths or whatever. Um, then you could do that. You see what I'm saying? Um, I'm just right now, what I got to do? Visuals of pigeon pose. Okay, 
And then give yourself a hug. I think I did this when too. Stop letting me date my fucking self and give me a goddamn man. Give yourself a hug. I need a hug from everybody. Eminem, you first. You the first bitch on that bitch. You, I need you. That's what I'm saying. Give me a fucking hug. That's all I be wanting. A hug. I need a fucking hug. I need a person that's taller than me to hug me. That's all I'm saying. For like 15 hours. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug. But shit, for real, I need a hug from other people now. Take a walk. Um, I don't want to take a walk. I don't even want to work out because I'm kind of depressed. Um, step outside. Now, that's what I like to do because today, sunny days, sweeping the clouds away. Friendly neighbors, yes, that's where we meet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? I got to put that on there too. Fuck, fill out for Sesame Street, y'all. That is my dream fucking job. Do y'all know that Sesame Street is my dream job? It is like, I can work with kids. I love Sesame Street. I don't know who else do it, but I love it. Put a smile on your face. It's written all over your face. Ooh! You don't have to say a word. Show them, show them. Don't tell them what you do. A smile, a smile, a smile, a smile for me. Okay, so anyway, put a smile on your face, even if it's forced. Don't do that. That's going to make you feel fucking icky, like somebody just, like, touched you and they shouldn't. I don't know why people tell you do that, like, fake it till you make it. That shit make me feel sick. That's why I can't do it. I'm just going to eat, because at some point, I'm going to end up telling that motherfucker off. You see what I'm saying? I could be in the room with you. You could give me cheese. It's like, at some point, I'm about to cuss you the fuck out. Like, so, it's like, I could, I don't, don't want to say force it. Do not force it. I'm going to put this list on the bottom. It's from apartment therapy, but don't force it. Don't fake it till you make it. I'm serious. I do not agree with that. Because if you are 100% real, that shit ain't going to work no way. You ain't going to even make it out the fucking room. You are not going to last two seconds trying to fake your fucking smile. You're going to cuss a motherfucker out. That's how I know. Okay, choose nutritious food. The lemon make it alkaline. The lemon makes it alkaline. And then a cinnamon stick is like very beneficial for you. Sometimes I just come up with this shit off the top of my head. I just be in the kitchen making shit up. Oh, and it got the red color from the jello. The raspberry jello. I put just a little bit of raspberry jello in here because I use the jello to make like my protein shakes and stuff, my peach protein shakes. That's what you need. I put that pea protein on her too. Because I got that off of Amazon. Pea protein. And it's like a coffee. The one I got is like a coffee. So it got like a little caffeine in there. Not like I need it. But it has the caffeine in there too. Why did it get changed? Okay. Exercise. Working out. Like I said, do your yoga, but, like, do you a little workout in the dance party. This whole thing is telling you what you do with your body. Just so you can have a happy day. If you feel like getting stuff done, put stuff, put items in, the, in your donate bin. Y'all, I, I I really like to give back to the Goodwill and stuff like that, too, because I take stuff out of the Goodwill. And I like to give good shit back, too, because it'd be like, I don't even need this no more. I think somebody else should have it. It should be a beautiful item for somebody else. So I either try to keep it away or donate it to the Goodwill. It's not a joke. Um, clean something. That is something that a lot of stressed out women do. I think women and some men, we just organize shit. We just really are some organizational people. And it's like something, it's just, it just happens. If I get pissed off enough, I'm about to clean this whole motherfucking house. Like, or if I got to get ready for something, it's like, I'm going to clean the house. If I have to, like, even to prepare to do my art, I have to clean. So clean something. Do a brain dump. That's when you just get a list and just start writing shit out. The best way to do that is this thing. It's called a heart map. And I think I'm going to make a video about it. Because this heart map is something that is very something for me. So, like, I saw this. And that's why I like Hilda, too. Because it reminds me of the first heart map I started. I saw it, but, um, and Hilda is on Netflix. So, when you get to, um, the heart map, um, 
it's like you just make a list of all the stuff that you might like about yourself. Like I did one for Virgo. So it's like all the like different things. Like we got compassion. We organize. We like, we like, um, I think I'm a talkative. Virgos are really not as talkative as me. But like, um, it's like we got like a lot of good qualities. So I just put on the list and then I draw the heart map. And then I have like, you know, uh, Trinity trees. Or it's like we are religious or something like that. And I'm making this part up because I don't know. Compassion car way. You know, like it's just like you have a river. But it's like you draw a heart. And then you put like different places where your heart can go. And I mean, and it's that's, that's what it is. I did one for Virgo. I did one for me. And like my art activities and stuff like that. So that's cool too. Plan out your week. Y'all. I'm such a person about a bullet journal and fucking sketch notes. A bullet journal is so fucking awesome. And then, I think I'm going to have to do, I'm about to do all these videos. Because now I need some fucking followers and sketch notes. So, a bullet journal is like, like I said, it's a journal that you make up. And I, I make up my own. And that's all it is. It's just, and I I'm a, I think I'm going to do the video on Canva. Because Canva can help you more for people who are artists or whatever. Because it's like, but I like to draw mine out. And that's only because I'm an artist. Like, it's like, I think you can do it on Canva or on, or you can do it on paper. But I think because it's easier for me to do it on my screen, you know. Um, and then sketch notes, it's like, um, it's like you just sit somewhere where you take notes, you just sketch them out. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that. I have to do it because I cannot sit there and just look at you while you talk to me. I have to draw. Okay. First thing, and I have to. It's not a fucking, like, I'm trying to, I have to do it, motherfucker. Okay, first thing in the morning, meditate. <laughs> but yeah, meditate. Um, I do that with yoga. I've been trying to do this too. Drink water before you reach for something caffeinated. I don't actually have to have coffee right now because it's some nasty shit to me. Like if I can't afford the good shit, I don't want it. Like it's like I don't, I don't just keep the fucking. I just actually poured the coffee into the garden because the shit was bad. The coffee was. I think somebody put something in the coffee. I'm serious though. I was actually just having like issues where I couldn't breathe as I drank the coffee. The shit is fucked. So anyway, I gotta get some better coffee. But um, drink. Drink water, 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 and it, it's something else where they say if you drink the water, your body will do something else. You gotta look it up, but I forgot. Make sure you stretch. That's part of your yoga, so you can do the meditation and yoga with that. Jot down a gratitude list, y'all. I'm so about this. What is the best part of your day? What is the worst part of your day? And I'm pretty sure if you do this for. A while, like if you do it like for maybe a month with your family, your kids will start doing it too. And so it's like y'all can even do it like on a big piece. Like we got, like I know you see in my basement. We, I mean, no, not my basement. The downstairs, our lower half of the house. It's like we got big pieces of brown paper on the wall, butcher paper. And so you could do that too. You could just like write your gratitude list on the butcher paper. Everybody put in there, it'll probably end up being some cute ass wallpaper i'm telling like you could probably it's probably a company that you could send that into and they can print it into wallpaper or you can just do it yourself like put glue on a on the paper and then put it on the wall but i think it is one of the best things i have ever done in my life is actually just to ask myself what was the best part of my day and that's what made me so grateful for the little things so um that's it also, y'all get ready because Denzel Washington birthday coming up. His his birthday is in eight days. Y'all better get ready because this is when you have to reevaluate your life. This man has lived a great life. It is like amazing, a fucking amazing, and the people that he has helped. So get your quote ready. Get your quote ready so you can start reevaluating and do it before the first of the year because all these other people are gonna be trying to. Do all this stuff. No, do yours. On, start on the 28th. As soon as you just get start on the 28th, that first one. Make sure you get on your knees. What he say? Make sure you get on your knees. Put your shoes far enough under your bed so when you get up in the morning, you're going to have to get on your knees and pray. You understand what I'm saying? That is what you have to do. Period. That's it. So, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that has been some of the most inspirational things. That has been one of the most inspirational things in my life. 
And then that way your prayers are already put in for the new year too. You can still pray on the night of the new year, but if you start on the 28th and go into the, on the if you start on the 27th and go into the 28th, guess the fuck what? You are already ready. That's your new year right there. Don't let the world tell you different. God made it that way. God made it just like he did. His mama didn't know. Denzel didn't know. His wife didn't know. They didn't know what it was for. But that's why his birthday is on December 28th. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all. Make sure you get good sleep. Put away your screens and all before bedtime. <sighs> How y'all gonna listen to music? Get you a Google, get you a Google, um, what is this thing I got in here? Get you a Google, uh, thing and, or get you a, um, uh, an Alexa. I'll put them on there too. Get you a Google, a Google or Alexa. Because, yeah, you gotta put that shit away, but then you still gotta hear some music. Like, you can still hear your, hear, hear the meditation music and different things like that. Like, the uh, 400 and some 30 megahertz, 435. And remember, the kids, it's like louder for them. So, you may have to turn some things down. But remember that, that's their Enjoy an evening ritual. Um, like tea or reading or having a dance. I would say save the dance party for the evening. And maybe that's just all the DJing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's just because I'm hyper. I don't know. It could be because I'm black. But either way, you have to save it for the evening. Turn off overhead lights and turn on lamps for cozy ambient light a few hours before you bed. We believe in fairy lights and Christmas lights. Christmas lights. Because they just always add a warmth to the house. I would say do that. Invest in those things. Like It's like people don't ever think about lighting. Like... Even hanging those light bulbs across, like, stringing across your living room or something like that. That's some good stuff, like, for you to really pay attention to. Also, floor lighting. Because I thought about this. I thought about the design of my bus, and I was like, I didn't include any floor lighting. At some point in my house, I used to have ambient floor lighting. Like, where I would have a floor, like, I put all the lamps, like, I put a few lamps on the floor. So then I just come in, I touch it with my toe and go on about my business. And it, it actually makes such a big difference in your house. And it, it's like... It just sets a mood. It's almost like it's a fire or something. So some of those things, think about that before whatever. And then it says, turn down the thermostat for bedtime. Who would, I, I do not like a cold bedroom. I don't. I like for mine to be a little more. Okay, for a little pampering, take a hot bath or shower. You know now you can get this thing called eucalyptus. You can tie it to your, tie it to your shower head. And smell the eucalyptus in the fucking shower. Who the hell would think of this? Y'all, eucalyptus is one of my favorite scents. It is, like, beautiful to me. So, eucalyptus, you can actually get the eucalyptus leaves and tie it in the shower. And I would say get it from the world's fine market. Do not get this shit from Amazon. I'm going to put it on here. But, do not get it from Amazon because it's too expensive. They, they sometimes say up shit. I've been trying to find a way. Euca... Eucalyptus. Okay, eucalyptus. But I've been trying to find a way to just like kind of use the the uh what is this stuff? The oil, the essential oil to make it fit like to for me to smell it in the shower. And it's like, do I put it on the wall? It's like it's so maybe I should get something and stick it and then like the scent of just you see what I'm saying? Like it's something that should be that we should be able to insert on the shower and pour in an essential oil while we take a shower. Because it is just something very good for you. It's very good for you. Okay, use a salt or sugar scrub in a fragrance you love. Y'all, there's so many good ones on Amazon, and I put a recipe for a sugar scrub or a salt scrub. But I use sugar scrub because that's kind of better for your skin. Okay, there go you good with this. I didn't change the word. There we go, eucalyptus. And, okay, so, um... Or you can buy it from me because I got a lot of recipe for scrubs. And what I mean is the salt, salt oil sugar scrub. I don't have a recipe for scrubs because sometimes y'all be calling people scrubs and they really not scrubs. You just not accepting that they could be good for you. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Jade roll your face. This is a Tracy Ellis Ross thing. I'm going to put Tracy Ellis Ross on her too just because this woman gets fired. That's all I'm saying. Like, And I'm going to put something about pattern beauty. Tracy Ellis Ross and Pattern Beauty. This is going to be the longest list of shit that I ever put out. 
So, and Pattern Beauty. Because I have not had Pattern Beauty yet. And I think that that would be something great for her. You know, like try that shit out. And I know a lot of people already do. But just try it out. Rub lotion on your body. Not just lotion. Oils. Oils. Especially if you're a black woman. Oils. Get some. Rub that. Make yourself delicious. Put a little sugar in there. You're going to be good for you. Put on comfy clothes as soon as you're at home for the night. Now, this is something important for me. Just take your clothes off from, from what you've been wearing at work. Think about the nastiest person at your job and just think that they sit inside of your chair. When you get home, that is the reason why you're taking off your clothes. Because you have now carried them into your house. You see what I'm saying? Take them clothes off and put on use. We should actually leave our pajamas and robes at the front door. We should not have to in our and we should also have like a clothes basket or two. I think it'll be a great feng shui for our house. A place for our shoes, a place for dirty clothes, and then somewhere where we have clean clothes. It's not any I think that just gets you ready for your home. I think that should happen as soon as you get in the fucking house. A place for your clothes your dirty clothes. A place for your shoes, a place for your clean clothes, and your clean socks, and your slippers. That just needs to happen. Spend some time under a wedding blanket. That is something important because it feels so good. I don't think you have to have anxiety really to love a weighted blanket. It feels wonderful because it's actually like it's somebody actually pressing against you. I think that's what it is. I think it's the comfort of being touched without being touched. You see that? In your surroundings, light a candle. Make sure it's your favorite scent. So, yeah, just get you something that don't, that's going to smell good. And, and try something different. Like, I remember one year I got my friend, like, a a cedar or something. It was, like, a manly candle. It's, it's not manly. It was just, like, woodsy. Like, it smelled like it was out from outside. The best candle ever. And it's, like, I just tried something different. I just got it on sale. And it was, like, one of the best fucking candles that I ever smelled in my life. Um, turn on the diffuser. I believe in those. Switch on a salt lamp. I don't know how good a salt lamp works. I'm just not a salt lamp. But I don't know how that works, but it just does. Look at the fresh flowers on your table. I do not like fresh flowers. I'm not a flower. Like, I used to actually want to be a florist, too. But I just don't like cutting the flowers, you know, and having them. I like, I know flowers die at a certain time. And maybe cutting them could help a little bit. You know, I don't know. But, yeah. I would like to know the life expectancy and when it was about to wilt before I want to cut it. It's just something about that for me. I just prefer if you wear the flowers or, um, you know, put them in your hair or something like that. Put fake flowers in your hair. I just, I'm just like, let them grow. Let them grow wild. Let them be free. Um, visit your plants. That means talk to your plants. Tell them stuff. There's so much to talk about. While you water them, so you see them perk up. Turn on some music. Remember, megahertz. You want to hear some megahertz music? I'm gonna put that over too. Megahertz music, because that's really good for you. It's just awesomely good for you. That's all you got. It's so good for you to connect with others. Perform at least one small act of kindness. Y'all can open the door for people. You can say hi. Don't do this to me on the street because y'all gonna make me mad. Don't do. Don't mess with me, y'all. I'm serious because y'all been that y'all really be pissing me off. So, but I'm saying be kind to people, and I like to be kind to people. But I don't like to be kind because people are doing this because of the video. Don't do that. Pet an animal. That's a favorite of mine, hitting the animal. Give your partner child a 10 second hug. Oh my god, that would be so sweet. My baby. My baby. Give someone a compliment. That's what y'all should be doing on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, any social media outlets, honey. Just go ahead and give them the positive and not the negative. Because people are just starting out and that may not be all their personality that they have to give. So go ahead and just make sure that you put that shit on all different channels. Like if you want to get positivity, don't just give it inside your life. Get it on get it on the on the gram and everything too. Okay? 
But if you don't have anything nice to say, then bitch, shut the fuck up or don't say anything at fucking all. Okay? Uh, give your undivided t- undivided attention to someone. That is like so co- that's is that is like so I think it is cosmetic. I'm serious. I think it looks good on people when you actually pay attention to other people. I'm like, you are beautiful. What did you put on? To, is that Fenty? Is that Fenty? You know, you just like, you are gorgeous today. I'm telling you. Give somebody your undivided attention. It is like some, one of the most beautiful things you could do. Thank someone for something specific. You should always do that. Smile at a stranger. Make eye contact with someone you love. How often do we look at each other? Text someone. On Snapchat, shoot. Snapchat is fun. Like if you if you have a, if you this a family stuff, y'all get Snapchat and stuff. That's cute. Assume others are doing the best they can. They are. Sometimes they are. And if they not, tell them. If you want to enjoy something you love, read fiction, color, bake or cook, bread. Yeah, I'm so into bread right now. It don't make no sense. Spend a few minutes learning something. Look through a photo album. Garden. And last one is to practice practice mindfulness. Be aware of your senses while you're doing something mundane like washing the dishes. I actually dance while I wash the dishes. I give a whole fucking show while I wash the dishes. And that is because I am a former and also working entertainer that is out of work. So, what I do is I just give myself my own entertainment. And in that time, I can practice facial Like, how do I look? I can enjoy myself. I can smile at myself. I can laugh. One of my favorite songs to dance to is Sam Cooke. Everybody do the cha-cha-cha. T for two, cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Everybody do the cha-cha-cha. Took my baby to the sun last night. And son, to my surprise, y'all, I look, they said she couldn't do the cha-cha-cha, the cha-cha-cha, <laughs> I love, woo, woo, I know Barack Obama and Sam Cooke look like, I really do, but they ain't got nothing to do with it, I'm about to tell you though, I love me some fucking Sam Cooke, y'all, I cannot. Mm. Who made the man Jesus? Who made him God? Who put him? Why you do it? He is so, oh my God. He is such, he, oh. Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow go straight to my lover's heart. The favorite one I like to change is, um, dang. Oh, man. Oh, I think of her over. I hope that I think of her before it's over. But it's one of his songs I like to sing acapella without him. So, I just like to do dishes to make it better. I give a whole fucking show. I would say pick a genre and do a show. Like Green Day. I can do a Green Day show for real. And uh, Weezer. I like them too. So, you know, it's like some things I'm just like, let me put them on to Green Day, Weezer. Um, Weezer, the sweater song, Green Day, uh, the first dookie was the first CD, right? Um, oh my god, and Oasis. I hate that they kept falling out. They just, they mama should have whooped them. Oasis, y'all need an ass whooping. I'm not even playing. Like, the music was so fucking good. Your mama need to beat y'all ass. Y'all kept fighting for fucking nothing. If you brothers that grew up in the same fucking house. Ain't no fucking way y'all should have been fighting that goddamn much during no goddamn music lifetime. This shit don't, that don't make no sense. You needed a, y'all needed a true ass fucking whooping. Where you had to go out to the fucking tree and get a goddamn switch. Cause that was some bullshit. All that fucking fighting and breaking up and all that shit. That shit was not fucking necessary. And that's some real shit for me to tell you. That was such a, you were such a beautiful and superb van. And y'all let all that family shit get in the fucking way. When y'all could have just clocked the fuck in and then clocked the fuck out. I think y'all were power tripping. And I don't know, whatever the fuck was going on in your household, it should not have been out in the world of America. 
your mama should have beat y'all ass. And I'm talking about after you got off the stage at the fucking concert. She should have beat the fuck out of y'all. Y'all pissed me the fuck off so much. And I was a child when you was out. That is the worst piece of shit I have. And, and the music is wonderful, y'all. I'm telling you the music. But your business, y'all should have kept that shit to y'all fucking self. Because no, nobody want to know about no goddamn sibling, no sibling rivalries that could have been solved by you sitting down with your fucking mama and daddy and talking about some shit. Y'all need y'all asses beat. Because you should be still doing fucking concerts together today. That is some bull. That is whatever the fuck y'all was going through is some bullshit. And y'all know it. Oasis, I'm putting them on there too. Champagne supernova in the sky. That's what you watch dishes to and give a whole show. Deliberately reminisce, just like I do on this show. Try box breathing. It's like this thing where you like, okay, listen. If you got the Apple Watch, it's on there because it's like it go inhale, exhale, well, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and the box do the same thing. It's like it go out, it come in, it go out, and come in. It's just like a little meme or whatever. Journal. Write that shit down. Oasis. Write the shit down, okay? Okay. You know my fucking nerd. Y'all still should be fucking singing, making God. Y'all, I bet y'all got so many fucking ideas. Y'all pissing me the fuck off just thinking about that shit. Oh, that, and y'all fighting in the motherfucker. Y'all mama should have slapped y'all fucking face. Ain't no fucking way. Y'all got all this talent. You got all this fucking beauty and shit. And y'all still got all this mental shit going on. While y'all doing yoga and meditate, what the fuck going on with y'all? Y'all mama should have beat the shit up. Smack your fucking face. Smack the shit out of y'all. I am not even fucking playing. You know, fucking y'all grown ass men up there acting the fuck like that. Whew. Journal, y'all. Journal. And Penn Zoo is a good place to journal. Especially if other people are not hacking your fucking computer. Go to Pencil. Okay, and the last part is practice positive thinking. That's all you have to do. It's like all of this good stuff. Just sit down and rewire your brain to think positive things. And things will start to happen. The world around you may not change. Everything may blow up in a fucking fire. But if you think positively, something good might come out of that. Oh, that's not the last one. See, I thought that was a funny thought. I am not Jerry Springer. Awaken your senses by doing one thing differently. New route to work, sit in a different spot while you read. Women, I always take different routes because there's so many fucking stalkers out here. You don't know what the fuck they be doing anyway. Change your routes. Fuck these motherfuckers. Be unpredictable. Don't ever write that shit down. Don't ever tell nobody. Only you know your game plan. You understand? Sit in a different spot while I read. Same thing. Women. Try it. Men need to try it now too because now I see bitches or stalkers too. And they'll be mad at another woman because some other men like them. So, anyway, it's Shantae Brown. She would talk of the black unicorns telling you to have just a wonderful Sunday. I know I'm cussing a lot again. Make sure you work out any kinks. Still listen to Oasis. Because despite all of the family troubles, they were a great man. A great man. Please, have a great day.